am Donald Bell, Senior Editor for Digital Audio and MP3 here at CNET, and today we're taking a first look at the new Apple iPod Classic. It really is identical in form factor to the fifth generation video iPod. The main difference is that it's thinner for the capacity you get. Right now I've got the 80 gigabyte iPod Classic and the 30 gigabyte fifth generation iPod, and they're about the same width. So the new graphic user interface that's shared by both the iPod Classic and the iPod Nano lets you see your files in a split screen view. The other cool thing about the iPod Classic and the iPod Nano is that now you can go inside the music menu and access the cover flow mode that lets you browse your music collection. You can also browse your music collection using the list mode, but the cover flow mode is just a cooler looking way to do it. It's not any more functional, it's not any quicker, it's just more entertaining. Another reason to go with the iPod Classic over the iPod Nano is that it's going to be a much better portable video player for you. It's a 2.5 inch screen versus a 2 inch screen. Uh, it's going to be the same resolution, 320 by 240. One disappointment we did notice about the iPod Classic is that it's done away with the video iPod's ability to use the headphone jack as a video output. So you can't plug in a $10 AV mini jack cable into the headphone jack and connect this up out of the box to your television. The iPod Classic is available in either black or silver. That comes in either an 80 gigabyte capacity at $249 or a 160 gigabyte capacity for $349. I'm Donald Bell, and that was a first look at the iPod Classic. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.